Hi everyone, Leon Gordon here from Onyx Data. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that's participated so far in the Onyx Data data set challenge. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing, the response from you all. Um, and we've had a great time doing it, myself included, um, visualizing this month's challenge, which is the Netflix data set. Um, so what I wanted to do, because there's been some great feedback on LinkedIn uh, for some of the features that I've put into this visual, I just wanted to walk through on how some of it all hangs together. So on the left hand side, here um, we have our select filter pane now when we click on this uh, we have our filter element which which gets dynamically uh, put together and we can obviously search through our filters uh, and apply filters directly to the data going through and looking for if we wanted to slice and dice by um, for example rating uh, we can apply that across all of our visuals um, and obviously remove that as we move forward and uh, we can also just hide that again by just selecting this option here. Um, carrying on, I've got some of my favorite um, Netflix titles in this pane here. So Attack on Titan, which is an anime, uh, Stranger Things, which I'm sure everybody's aware of, and obviously Marvel's Daredevil. Now in behind um, these three options here is a little breakout box. So we can just select. Um, and in here we have a bit more information um, about the the actual title um, and hopefully one day we'll be able to display a video in this section here as well. Uh, we can just select back to go back and we can also do the same thing for Stranger Things and for Marvel's Daredevil. Okay, and just selecting back will take us back to our home page. Um, we have little breakout options here on our main menu, which take us over to movies. Um, we can see that it filters all of the visuals down to down to movies, um, TV shows, um, and we can obviously go back to movies or back to overview. Now, without a doubt, my favorite feature uh, within this visualization has to be um, our settings pane. And in here we have um, the light mode and also click to download the report and click to reset the report. So what I'll show you first and foremost is how um, light mode works. So we just click on this option here and what we notice is that our whole report changes into what we call light mode. Uh, we can also go back to our dark mode by just clicking here. Um, really love this feature. Um, excited to try this out in Power BI and hopefully at some point I can blog about this and how I put this together in the future. We can just go back to light mode um, and we can see again that within this report we have all of our filters, um, all of our breakout boxes for our information um, all come together for all of my favorites um, and also we can just go back to either our overview and start to look and slice and dice our report based on Power BI's interaction and we can also jump to our movies pane for light mode um, or drill down just to see our TV shows data um, and then again just by going back to our overview and looking at our settings, we can go back to light or dark mode depending on your preference. We also have the functionality to be able to download the report. So what happens here is that this will just um, take you to an option to download the report. If we just jump back, we can also reset our report to its original functionality. So I hope this gives you a bit more insight into uh, some of the functionality we put into place. Uh, with this visual and as always any questions please do feel free to reach out and thank you once again everyone for participating in this month's Onyx Data uh, Data DNA Dataset Challenge.